Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about Sandikeshwara. Normally, Sandikeshwara will be will be in uh, Shiva temples. In this video, I am going to explain the story behind why Sandikeshwara is there and what is its importance and Normally when we go to temple, Shiva temple, people used to do like this or like this to make a noise to Sandikeshwara. And he always faces only Shiva. He never faces us. So I thought I will explain the reason behind that. Sandikeshwara was born as Dandisha Nayanar. And at the age of five, because of God's blessings, he was able to recollect his previous birth. He was able to get all the information, all the knowledge, including his studies, whatever he did, everything at the age of five. But still, because his dad asked him to go to a guru, a teacher, to learn, he was going to Gurukul. And during that time, when he was in Gurukul, he saw one, one guy, small guy, hitting a cow. And by looking at this, Sandikeshwara got very upset and then he went and inquired to that guy why he is eating the cow and then after he got the response back, he assured that the cow will not do anything wrong from now on, don't eat the cow and he himself will look after the cow. And then from that day onwards, the cow was always with him and during that time the cow thought that this guy is helping me a lot I need to do something in return and it started giving a lot of milk without even someone trying to get the milk the cow started giving milk to this kid and because of his previous birth's knowledge he immediately was able to recollect that the milk is used for Shivalinga, for the Abhisheka. And so what he did, he made a Shivalinga from the mud and then he used all the milk from the cow to do the Abhisheka for the Linga he made. By looking at this, People went and informed to Dandisha Nayanar's uh, dad. And the dad was very angry because his kid is wasting all the milk to a mud. He got very upset because that, that particular milk is to be used for Shiva in temples. So he got upset. He came, he was trying to explain to the kid that he is wasting the milk. But already, this kid is already in a trance and he was very happily enjoying that moment where Lord Shiva made of mud is getting the Abhishega from the cow's milk. Because his son was not listening to him, the dad, what he did is, he went and he wanted to destroy that particular Shivalinga made of mud with his leg. And all of a sudden by looking at this, the kid got very upset and he took the a stick to hit his dad in the leg. And uh, the stick by somehow it became an axe and it 
chopped off the leg of the dad. By looking at this, Lord Shiva was so impressed, Lord Shiva appeared in front of Dandisha Nayana and he said, because for me you have even punished your dad, so you are one of the best devotees of me. And then Shiva also granted his own garland what he was wearing to this kid and also promised that whatever Shiva gets for Abhishega like uh, Abhishega, all the clothes, ornaments, everything after Shiva used it, it belongs only to Shandikeshwara. That is the day he got the name Shandikeshwara. And that's why Shandikeshwara is always located exactly near where the milk or water after Abhishega flows down, isn't it? He will be exactly seated there. And he is in a posture of meditation, always thinking of Shiva. So, we after the puja, we are going to bring back the prasada, isn't it? But because Shiva promised whatever he uses, after that it belongs to Shantikeshwar, we are not supposed to take it and come to home. So what we are trying to do is, we are just waking him from the meditation state, tapas, and telling him that I am taking this as a prasada. This is your belonging now, but I need this as a prasada. Please forgive me. That is what the message behind why we are doing this or this for Shandikeshwara. Next time when you go to a big Shiva temple, you will definitely see Shandikeshwara. Please do take care.